Hey everybody, it's Ben and Beta, and today we're at Overland Expo Mountain West. There's a lot to check out here today. I don't know exactly what we're all gonna see, but I'm here with my good friend Jeremy, who's also my next door neighbor. He's gonna be a cameraman today, and we're gonna check out all kinds of cool stuff. So I can't wait to show you more about what's going on here, but if you've never been to an Overland Expo, it's just everything Overland and more than you could ever have imagined. So what I'm doing with this video series is I'm gonna feature one really cool product or company in each of these videos. And today's video is gonna focus on the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Now I could have gotten the Trail Hunter, which you see here, or I guess I could have waited for the 4Runner, but I got the TRD off-road. And while I have some cool parts on my vehicle, I ran into a really cool new company that has some amazing parts for the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma, as well as parts for some other vehicles too. I talked with Micah, who's one of the engineers who helped build all these products, and their focus is on making great protection for your vehicles and making it as light as possible. And that's something that definitely speaks to me, so I'm hoping it's gonna to speak to you as well. But let's get over to that booth and check out Adventure More and their products. All right, we're here at Adventure More to learn a little bit about some cool products that they have for the Tacoma specifically here. And I'm going to be talking here with Micah. He's going to talk about all the cool stuff that they have. So this is our front bumper. Some of the unique features are we went a little bit thinner than the industry standard. Okay. And then we added more gusseting and more ribs to try to reduce the weight a little bit. You lose about, it's about a 25% weight reduction. On these slimline models, that's not like extremely significant, but it's, you know, it's 10, 10, 12 pounds. We bring all of the recovery points in so you don't slam your shins on them and have to, you know, scream at expletives at your campsite. Yeah, I like that. Um, we also round them off with the, the uh, recovery points are machined and rounded everywhere so they won't cut a rope. You can, you don't need a shackle. You can use yeah. a soft shackle or just pass your rope through it. Gets one less, you know, piece of metal flying at you if something fails yep. in your recovery chain. You know, we got the parking sensors in there. Right, I think most, awesome. most people so are able that. to incorporate that. Yep. Winch is set back in here. This is a very tight space. So the winch control box is actually located in this empty space behind oh, okay. here with a bracket. Okay. And we just run Warren's or whoever's, you know, control extension. And it just, you know, you put a bolt through it right there and it's just hanging down right here. You can access it. If your Bluetooth goes out on your remote, you still have that manual. Override. This is cut for a 20 inch, you know, standard 20 inch Baja. This is Baja's fog light kit, but the factory fogs will bolt in here too, that we just did this, you know, cool factor. In the 24 Tacomas, you have an active louver system yep. back here. It's or a problem for some people, right? I don't know if that's what they call it, but yep. in my vocabulary, these are louvers. So we do have a sheet metal bridge that goes from this side to that side and catches the three fastening points for that louver system. If you reach back here and feel it, it won't move. It's, it's rigidly attached. In that bridge, I also put oval holes for all the OEM wire clips. So all your wires are managed. You would install that first, just clip in all your wires, fasten it to the louver system. And then when you put this bumper on, you can access, there's two PIM nuts that are pressed into the bridge. And so you just put two bolts in from the bottom there and then it locks everything down. You can't see it very well, but underneath we have full skids from engine through the transfer case and then the fuel tank. We tried to make this to where one person could install most of these parts. Front bumpers are still pretty awkward. We have keyhole front holes, okay. so you can put them halfway in, slide it in, oh, nice. and then catch the back bolts with by hand. Yep. So when you get to the second skid, you'll see this is broken. This is the frame member you bolt here. This is broken up. Yep. So you just come with the second one, hook it in, okay. and then it's one person again. Oh, nice. You can put a bolt in. And then fuel skid, same thing, hooks here. You can pick it up. Fuel skid's really long. You, you might get annoyed doing it with one person, but you can do it. If you have two people, it's easy. And the fuel tank is actually super low on the 24 Tacoma. So it is something that you really want to protect because you can see our fuel skid has about three eighths of clearance between the metal and the yeah. plastic fuel skid. Yep. And it is the lowest point under the, under the truck. Yep. So it needs oh, okay. protecting and there is no factory skid back right. there. So it's just, it's just a plastic tank hanging now. Yep. We did these rock sliders and they will take the full weight of, you know, half of the truck. 
and we just were trying to make them look a little sleeker and look more like a body panel style instead of the big tube. But we wanted to give some protection if you came off at an angle. So we have these little angle pieces coming up to give you that side protection. And then, you know, we cover the full length, pretty standard. Other than that standard rock slider, you know, other than the looks, it's gonna perform like everyone else's. And that's pretty much it. We do these ditch light mounts, but that's a simple part, self-explanatory. Yeah, I like that. Super yeah. Cool. These, are, uh, these are good products. I love, I love like small companies that are really innovating in space. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this all looks really good. So, doing a okay. great job here. Appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Micah. Yeah, I appreciate the exposure. No problem. Adventure More is a super cool company and they have some great products. So if you're looking to pick up any of these products, go to adventuremore.com to get them.